it's just me. You can just tell me again what what your role was on the project and Herrick and and then uh, talk about how you guys came together. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Move over a little bit there, would you? There you go. Um, Tom, tell us who you are and who you're with and okay. what your what Herrick's role was on the project. So I'm Tom Kuznick with the Herrick Corporation. We're based in Stockton, California. Uh, our place on the project was to fabricate and erect the structural steel for the new press box at the Cal Memorial Stadium up here behind me. What you see here is just the little cantilever that comes off the press box, but there's a big structure with some spans that are a couple of hundred feet long in there. We had some challenges in building this. One of the key challenges was the schedule and the lack of anything to support those spans. So we built the structure, uh, the main truss, the box truss for the structure on the floor of the stadium. We used a very large crane and operated at a high, high percentage of the capacities of that crane to erect those box sections which formed the basis for the rest of the structure. Uh, there were some key challenges in erecting the job, and we brought in a consultant with Hassett Engineering, Pat Hassett here, who helped us work through those challenges. We came up with concepts, he figured out how to do those and how to make them work uh, with the design calculations, complex calculations, to, to make sure we were on the right track. So with that, I'll introduce Pat. I'm Pat Hassett, Hassett Engineering, and, uh, and that is our specialty. We do is uh, stabilization for erection of structural steel. And this job had a lot of special challenges, not only with the geometry of the structure, but also the way it was going to be erected. As Tom mentioned earlier, is that the uh, the schedule was very uh, aggressive. That they had to build these this uh, superstructure here in five segments. Made five of the major truss box trusses, we can call them. And they are very heavy, huge picks. What were the, uh, what were the, the weights on those ranged? Uh, a couple hundred thousand uh, pounds? Two, 230,000 pounds. 230,000 pounds. Yeah, and so our job came in checking the, the uh, lifting lugs, finding the centers of gravity, making sure we agreed. So we wanted to have a, num a number of checks. The detailer had their technical models. They'd go in and uh, utilize those and we would go in and actually try and verify that with the weights of the members. So this center of gravity was critical on these picks. We wanted them to land flat and they and everything had to be of course uh, the, the lifting lugs had to be able to take those loads into the members and so that we're not going to fail anything as we're lifting. Also after they were set we also had to have uh, not only how are we going to connect those, how are we going to stabilize them so a lot of that uh, analysis in, in advance of that was just making sure that the structure below that we were landing on had enough uh, enough uh, structure welded and stabilized uh, due to the fact that a lot of that was pinned down below. They had massive pins that we were landing on these uh, these uh, concrete cores to take all the lateral. So uh, and that's just a little snapshot of uh, what we had to do. But working with Herrick, it makes our lives easy because um, Tom and the others really uh, do their homework up front to uh, to make sure that the scheme is doable. Thanks, guys. Yeah.